Welcome to Facts TV. Tonight, we are going to be featuring the talented and legendary career and lifestyle of Lionel Richie. Who is Lionel Richie? Lionel Brockman Richie Jr. is one of the most iconic American singer, songwriter, record producer, and television personality. Richie was born June 20th, 1949 in Tuskegee, Alabama. Lionel Brockman Richie SNR, his father, was a U.S. Army Systems Analyst, while his mother, Alberta R. Foster, was a teacher. His musical background might have come from his grandmother. Adelaide Mary Brown was a pianist who played classical music. On March 4, 2011, he appeared on NBC's Who Do You Think You Are?, which found out that his maternal great-grandfather was most likely the biological son of federal judge Morgan Wells Brown. Lionel Richie was raised on the campus of Tuskegee Institute. Their family home was a gift from Booker T. Washington given to his grandparents. He studied and graduated from Joliet Township High School, East Campus in Joliet, Illinois. He was a star tennis player in Joliet, which led him to get a tennis scholarship to attend Tuskegee Institute. In Tuskegee Institute, he was a member of their marching band, the Marching Crimson Pipers. From the Institute, he graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics with a minor in Accounting. Ritchie considered religious studies to become a priest in the Episcopal Church, in which he had been baptized, but eventually opted that he was not priest material and decided to continue his musical career in spite of not knowing how to read or write music. He is a member of Kappa Kappa Psi, a national honor fraternity for band members. He is also an active life member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. In Tuskegee, as a student, he formed a succession of R&B groups in the mid-1960s. In 1968, he became a singer and saxophonist for Commodores. Commodores signed a recording contract with Atlantic Records in 1968 for one record. They moved on to Motown Records originally as a supporting act to the Jackson 5. They became established as a popular soul group. First several albums had a danceable, funky beats, tracks such as Machine Gun and Brick House. Over time, Richie wrote and sang more romantic, making the songs hit singles such as Still, Three Times a Lady, Sail On, and Easy. Richie achieved his first commercial success came in 1974 as a writer with Happy People that he co-wrote with Donald Baldwin and Jeffrey Bowen. Initially proposed as a Commodore's track, but was recorded by The Temptations, which became a number one R&B song. In late 1970s, Lionel began to accept songwriting commissions from other artists. He wrote several songs, including Lady in 1980 with Kenny Rogers, which hit number one on the charts. He also produced Rogers' album Share Your Love the following year. Rogers and Richie maintained a strong relationship for years. Richie sang the title theme song for the film Endless Love, duet with Diana Ross in 1981. Issued as a single, the song topped pop music charts and became one of Motown's biggest hits. To this day, it remains among top 20 successful singles of all time and biggest career hit for both artists. The success encouraged him to branch out of Commodores into a full-fledged solo career in 1982. The group replaced him with Skylar Jett in 1983 as lead singer. Richie's launch debut solo album, Lionel Richie, in 1982, which comprised three hit singles, the U.S. number one song Truly and the top five hits You Are and My Love. Richie launched his career as one of the most successful balladeers of the 1980s as he continued his style of ballads with the Commodores. The album hit number three on the music charts and sold over four million copies. Richie's second album in 1983, Can't Slow Down, attained number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart and sold over 20 million copies worldwide, making it one of the best-selling albums of all time. It sold over twice as many copies and won two Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. The album included the number one hit All Night Long, a Caribbean-flavored dance number promoted by a colorful music video produced by former Monkey Michael Nesmith. He performed all night long at the ending ceremony of the 23rd Olympic Games in Los Angeles in 1984. 
A number of top 10 hits followed. Most successful of the songs was the song Hello in 1984. In 1984, Richie had three more top 10 hits, Stuck on You, Running with the Night, and Penny Lover. He wrote and produced Missing You for duet partner and former label mate Diana Ross. Richie wrote and performed Say You, Say Me for the film White Nights in 1985. The song reached number one on the U.S. charts, staying there for four weeks and won an Academy Award. T made it the number two song of 1986 that was according to Billboard's year-end Hot 100 charts. Richie and Michael Jackson collaborated on the charity single We Are the World by USA for Africa, another number one hit. Richie released Dancing on the Ceiling in 1986. This was his last broadly popular album that produced a run of five U.S. and U.K. hits, Say You, Say Me, Dancing on the Ceiling, Love Will Conquer All, Ballerina Girl, and Say La. Richie took a break from recording from 1986 to 1992. He made his return to recording and performing following the release of his first greatest hits collection, Back to Front, in 1992. Richie has an ever more relaxed schedule that kept his recording and live work to a minimum. In 1996, he broke the silence with Louder Than Words, on which he resisted any change of style musical fashion hopping of the past decade. Instead, sticking with his chosen path of well-crafted soul music that has become known as contemporary R&B. In late 1990s, Richie's albums Louder Than Words and Time failed to match the commercial success of his earlier work. A number of his recent albums include Just For You and Renaissance. They have returned to his older style of music and achieved success in Europe, but fairly noticed in the United States. In 2006, Richie was the headliner with Fantasia Barino at the 4th of July tribute concert held in the Philadelphia Museum of Art. On May 7, 2006, Richie performed on the Acura stage at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, take the place of Antoine Fats Domino, who was ill. In September 12, 2006, Richie publicized his eighth studio album title, Coming Home. The first single of the album was I Call It Love and was released in July 2006. This has become his biggest hit in the U.S. in 10 years. The album was a success for Richie in the United States, then it peaked at number six. Richie was the 21st recipient of the George and Ira Gershwin Lifetime Achievement Award at UCLA's annual Spring Sing on May 2, 2008. During his award acceptance speech, Richie said, Forget about surviving 30-some-odd years in the music business. Lionel Richie survived 27 years of Nicole Richie. Richie announced in May 2009 that he would like to get his former group, The Commodores, back together soon. Another album, Just Go, was publicized in 2009. On July 7, 2009, during Michael Jackson's memorial service, Richie performed Jesus is Love. In 2011, Richie returned to Australia and this where he and guest artist Guy Sebastian toured the country and New Zealand with concert throughout March and April. Richie and Guy Sebastian recorded Richie's 1983 hit single All Night Long and together helped raise money for New Zealand earthquake relief and Australian floods. Richie released his 10th studio album, Tuskegee, in March 26, 2012 that featured 13 of his hit songs performed as duets with country stars. The album topped the Billboard 200 chart. This was his first number one album there since Dancing on the Ceiling. Within six weeks, it achieved platinum status. On June 28, 2015, Richie performed at Glastonbury Festival, England, to an audience of between 100,000 and 120,000 people. The show was described by the BBC as triumphant. It was followed by his reissued compilation album of his work as both a solo artist and with the Commodores topping UK albums chart. In September 2017, ABC announced that Richie would be on the revival of the show American Idol as a judge. Richie was a judge on the reboot for four seasons and was scheduled to appear in 2022 for the fifth season. Richie was honored at Berklee College of Music during its May 2017 commencement concert when graduating students performed a medley of his discography. He was also awarded an honorary doctorate of music. On December 3, 
2017, Richie received the Kennedy Center Honors. In October 2017, Richie had the rights to produce a Curtis Mayfield biopic. Richie announced on March 25, 2019 a 33-day tour for the summer across North America. His Hello Tour started at Arlington's Kaboo Festival in May and ran through August. Richie was invited to be a headline act at Windsor Castle for the Coronation Concert in celebration of the coronation of Charles III and Camilla in May 2023. Richie is the first chairman of the Global Ambassador Group and first Global Ambassador for the Prince's Trust. Lionel Richie is also popular among the various Arab states where he has had performances in Morocco, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, and Libya. In 2006, John Berman for ABC News reported that grown Iraqi men get misty-eyed by the mere mention of his name. I love Lionel Richie, the Arabs say. They can sing an entire Lionel Richie song. Richie married his college sweetheart, Brenda Harvey, in 1975, October 18th. The couple in 1983 informally adopted Nicole Camille Escovito, a.k.a. Nicole Ritchie, the two-year-old daughter of a member of Ritchie's band and was the niece of drummer Sheila E. They raised Nicole as their daughter and later adopted her legally at nine years old. Ritchie and Harvey divorced on August 9, 1993, after nearly 18 years of marriage. Ritchie married Diane Alexander on December 21, 1995. They have a son, Miles Brockman Ritchie, who was born May 27, 1994, and their daughter, Sophia Ritchie, who was born August 24, 1998. Ritchie and Diane Alexander marriage ended in 2004. Ritchie has been diagnosed with prolonged throat problems and has underwent surgery four times in four years, but was told by conventional doctors that he could lose his singing career. Then he turned to a holistic doctor who told him the problem was an acid reflux caused by foods Ritchie was eating before bed. In 2008, Ritchie became a grandfather when Nicole Ritchie and Joel Madden singer of the rock band Good Charlotte had a baby girl. Nicole birthed the couple, gave second child in 2009. Richie became a breast cancer activist after his grandmother was diagnosed with breast cancer in the 80s but survived until 103 years. This inspired him to help raise over $3.1 million for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. In terms of awards, Richie has won four Grammy Awards, which were for We Are the World Song of the Year in 1985, which he co-wrote with Michael Jackson, Album of the Year in 1984, and Producer of the Year, Non-Classical, in 1984, For Down, and Best Male Pop Vocal Performance for Truly in 1982. Lionel Richie was the first person to receive an RIA Diamond Album Award. Richie was nominated for two Golden Globe Awards and where he won one. He was nominated in 1982 for Best Original Song for the film Endless Love. In 1986, he was nominated and won an Academy Award for Best Original Song for the song Say You, Say Me, featured in the film White Nights. Richie received the Songwriters Hall of Fame's highest honor, that is the Johnny Mercer Award in 2016 inches 2022. He was awarded the American Music Awards Icon Award in the same year he was inducted into Black Music and Entertainment Walk of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thank you for watching Facts TV. Join us next time for more facts on the rich and famous. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe.